I found an incredible game last week. And by I, I mean Corey, but this is my channel. So I found Rising Storm 2 Vietnam last week, and it is the best Vietnam game I have ever played. I'm just shooting into the trees, like... Oh, and I got a kill. I just shot into the trees and got a kill. Told you, man. Trees. There was a guy right next to me and I didn't even know. Napalm, M16s, trees that speak Vietnamese. It's exactly what I was expecting and hoping for. But at the same time, it was also unlike any other shooter I have ever played. Dong. Ha. <laughs> oh, it is dong, huh? I was lulled into a false sense of security by how arcadey and approachable it looked, but then it would just randomly become a super hardcore milsim at random moments. I, uh, oh. Glad I wasn't over there. These are two completely opposite ends of the spectrum. It doesn't seem like it would be possible to feel like both of those games at the same time, but somehow, this game has put itself in both positions simultaneously. Well, I can I make a, a punji pit? Yeah, I don't know why it's- Oh my god, this is awesome. I don't know why it's not three, uh, but- Sorry, I just made a pile of dirt. You see it? Yeah. That's not a trap, that's not a punji pit. Yeah, if they walk over it, they die instantly. Deadly pile of dirt. Looking at the HUD is deceiving because it looks like an old Call of Duty. If you told me that this was a bad Battlefield knockoff, I'd believe you. Oh, be calm, be calm, be calm. Mm. They just, they come out of the bushes. Well, yeah. And the maps have clearly defined objectives, their reasonable size, especially compared to Hell Let Loose, where 90% of that game is walking to the objective. I know I'm recording this game to make fun of it right now, but I still love this game. But there's this one little message that pops up at the beginning of the game that hopefully I can find a picture of. If not, I'll have to substitute it for something else. But this message pops up and it says, remember, it only takes one shot to kill. I'm coming up on Delta. Okay, there's a ton of them. Okay, I will take it nice and... You're dead. It's very easy to miss that first message, but that little nugget of information changes everything about this game. I'm at one kill, 79 deaths, let's go. Especially for the friendlies who are usually at point blank range when they cross in front of you. Oh, I shot my own team. I'm so sorry. There was an American. There was an American in the trench. No, I have to kill him now. I have to kill him now. God dang it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. I got a kill. I got a kill. I'm so sorry. I killed my comrade. <laughs> it adds a level of intensity that is really hard to achieve unless you make it one shot, one kill. Oh no, he had cool glasses. I feel bad about that. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm killing so many Americans. Wow, wow, time to leave this bunker, jeez. I'm staring directly at the objective. If someone kills me, I will chuck my mouse out my window. Don't even try. So that was a grenade that hit me physically, maybe like broke my ankle or something, and then exploded. I can't think of a more humiliating way to die. Bullets are pinging the structure. Charlie was that? Okay. Pause. Hello, I'm sorry. Here is the time code to skip this portion of the video. For anyone new here who still hasn't skipped ahead, you are missing nothing other than a lesson on how not to set up channel memberships. It's a hobbit. <sighs> I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste. A, a hose end pressure refuel. What is this? That's me, G. I still owe DAC 78 a beaver debt. Dak, why do you have to bring this up to the YouTube audience? You, we don't need to air out our dirty laundry for them. Wolfie, hello there. Nothing to see here. Gunny 1971. You said it wrong. Monkey monkey, time to the understater. I'll always, I'll always, okay. It starts with one. Ugh, I hated that one. Ezra, chicken, Harold, Mr. Monty, Gusto my gamer. Guy with an atomic bomb in a shopping cart. Honestly, between the picture and the name, I, I, I'm not even mad. This is one of the most cultured atomic mirror brain editions we've had ever. Which, which isn't saying a lot. The bar is on the floor. Stop it. Get some help. Don't do this to me, please. I, I can't even see them. I feel like I'm playing Hell Let Loose. I feel like I'm playing Hell Let Loose. Just let me see you before you kill me. Do me that courtesy. How are these guys just standing up and running around? What, like, watch what happens when I stand up. See? 
I could not have I could not have planned that any better. And it's not just guns. Again, there is napalm in this game, as well as gunships and helicopters. I'm sticking down. Things are happening. It does not feel good to be a part of this. And if it only takes one bullet to kill you, it makes the vehicles that spray cannons from 10,000 feet in the sky extremely scary. I'm endlessly having double vision from the rockets going off around me. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, Eddie, that wow. was right up. Don't worry, guys, I got this. Just give the bullet some travel time. The result is a game where I can satisfy the smooth parts of my brain that want to play immersively, and I can do that without having to also perform calculus to find my objective. Oh my god, Joseph Stalin just killed everyone on the other team. I finally found the approachable milsim, or at least one that feels hardcore enough for me to move tactically and be rewarded. I'm spawning, like, behind them. There's so many. They think I'm one of them. <laughs> they, they, they really do. One of us. This is ridiculous. It, it took them so long to realize. The guy was looking at me like, wait a minute. And the community seems to have the same brain fungus I do because they play tactically as well. Look at this helicopter pilot. Who plays like this? They landed gently, dropped us off, and then got out of there. That is a hero. It felt so unbelievably good to watch that Huey fly away after dropping us off. It looked scripted because it actually might have been. As I sit here editing this, that might have been a bot. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but still. Oh, that helicopter looked really cool. I'm not even mad that they killed five of my friends. And as a brief side note, because this is going to be the first Saturday in December, Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, as if it wasn't good enough already, is also a Christmas game. We've lost so many good men. This is horrifying. This game is the reason I wanted to get a PC my entire life. This is a gem that I had never heard of before that I never would have experienced on console. This is very Christmassy. It is very Christmassy, I feel festive. And if you need me for the next month, I bet this is where I'll be. I'm in a helicopter. Even the helicopter's like a toy. Oh my God, the helicopter got killed by the ceiling fan. But other than that, that's all I got. Coochie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Gucci. Happy first day of Christmas to everyone watching this the day that I post it. To everyone else in the future, remember that the past was once the present. I know because I'm talking from the past to you in the future and I can confirm it is the present. So like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter what decisions you made in the past because again, it was the present when you made them. And if you give me the privilege of your time again, internet stranger, I will see you on stream in the radius. Where else would I be? Goodbye! We have a ticket bravo! Hmm. Hey Bobby, what, uh, what did we just take? Out of curiosity. I, I didn't hear it. Oh, I'll, I'll say it again before your announcer said. We have taken bravo. That's what uh -oh. he said. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. See, that now that, that kind of took me out of the, uh, the experience.